Ominous warning, TSA issues secret warning on catastrophic threat to aviation. A secret document from the TSA has come to light and it warns of the dangers of catastrophic threat in the aviation field. Is this a veiled warning about terror attacks to come? Are we in for yet another terror attack from the inside? The Transportation Security Administration said it is unlikely to detect and unable to extinguish what an FBI report called the greatest potential incendiary threat of aviation. According to a classified document obtained by The Intercept, yet despite the warning, t sources say TSA is not adequately prepared to respond to the threat. A mixture of rust and aluminum powder could be used against a commercial aircraft, TSA warned in a December 2014 document marked secret. The ignition of a thermite-based incendiary device on an aircraft at an altitude could result in catastrophic damage and the death of every person on board, the advisory said. TSA said it is unlikely to spot an easy-to-assemble thermite-based incendiary device during the security screening procedures and the use of currently available extinguishers carried on an aircraft would create a violent reaction. The TSA is based on FBI done in 2011 and a subsequent report. A thermite device, though difficult to ignite, would produce toxic gases which can act as nerve poison as well as a thick black smoke that will significantly inhibit any potential for in-flight safety officers to address the burn. TSA warned federal marshals not to use customary methods of extinguishing fires. The, the water or haline fire extinguishers currently found on most aircrafts which would make the reaction worse creating toxic fumes. Instead, air marshals are told to recognize the thermite ignition, but TSA has provided no training or guidance how to do so according to multiple sources familiar with the issue. TSA circulated these December 2014 materials through the briefings according to sources familiar with the issue, but did not offer up guidance on what to do with this information and equipment that could mitigate the threat like specific dry chemical extinguishers has not been provided. According to the TSA advisory, federal air marshals and other flight officers should recognize a thermite ignition, advise the captain immediately, and ensure the individual who ignited the device is rendered inoperable <clears throat> and move passengers away from the infected area. We're supposed to brief our federal air marshals to identify a thermite ignition, but they're telling us nothing," said one current TSA official who asked not to be named because the official is not authorized to speak to the press. So our guys are googling, what does thermite look like? How do you extinguish thermite fires? This is not very helpful at all. Several aviation officials um, who asked not to be named confirmed that they had been briefed on the threat but given no information on training on identifying thermal ignition. They say to identify something we don't know how to identify and say there is nothing that we can do, one federal air marshal said. So basically we hope it's placed somewhere it does minimum da damage, but basically we're screwed. Aviation's security officials who spoke with the intercept said the TSA floods its employees with intelligent products from other agencies on various types of threats, but does not tell its employees what, if anything, to do about this threat. You're signing off on this, saying you've created this briefing, a uh, former transportation security officer said. This covers their ass in case something happens so they can say, we shared our intel. Alright, my friends, leave your thoughts and your comments below, and I will talk to you later.